Hey guys, I'm Jay and today I'm going to touch base on a couple of the parts and kind of how a UV printer works so you can get a good idea. Uh, starting with, well, the computer. Let's start the easy place. Okay, so they recommended at least an i5 um, with 32 gigabytes of RAM. I'm running Hanzo Soft version 5.11. Uh, that's RIP Print or Print EXP. They work in conjunction together. Uh, it connects to the uh, printer via Ethernet cable. It uses a special Cat6 cable. It takes it hooks up with a special Cat6 cable. We come around and we hook up to. Okay, we come around and it hooks up to here the motherboard. So this is your main board. This is what tells it to um, uh, flash. It's pumping when to turn on and off the ink stirs if you have them. Your warnings send signals to the print heads. Okay, this is basically your main computer board. The uh, fiber wire coming off of this, yours might have flat cables, it's just a different motherboard, but the fiber wire and the ribbon cables do the same thing. They come up through the gantry chain right here, and they come into here, into your print head board. So this is your print head board. This is gets the signal from the motherboard and it deciphers it, and it uh, sends the, the correct signals down to your print heads through your print head cables, as your print head ribbon cables. We come down in here to your print head. This one has the dampers off. So this is your print head. This one is an Epson XP600. This would be the front of your print head, the back of your print head, the left and right of your print head. That is important. If you ever unhook these wires, you need to know the left and the right of your print head. This particular machine has three print heads. This one is running all white. This one's running CMYK. All right, so these are your dampers. The pl hard plastic part here, not the tube. These are your dampers. So these go on top of your print head through this um, port here. These are full of ink and it holds the ink supply sitting on top of your print heads to supply your printers with ink. And then the tube that is connected to it is your ink tube. Your ink tube comes up through the chain, across the gantry. You can see this double six wall here, all the way over here to your ink wells. So this is my ink well. I got uh, C, M, Y, K. This one's white and this one's varnish, which I don't have hooked up at the moment, but you can see they're hooked in here. This is a print head, sorry, a ink stirrer. The only ink that really, truly needs to be stirred consistently is your white. Okay, that is those parts. So to get your printer to print and to read, one of the things hook, to get your printer to print and read um, that is communicated to your print headboard, is this wire here. This wire here hooks to what is called an encoder. And I'll see if I can get a good shot of that. Okay, so that little black sensor with the white top kind of looks like it's with the white top is your encoder and that is a sensor that reads your raster strip. This is your raster strip. So it reads that back and forth and this is a ruler uh, basically telling your encoder where the print head is located and uh, how many steps. So if you have something weird, it's printing strangely odds are your encoder or raster strip is broken. This is our X drive motor. The hook comes up into here through this pulley. Let me move this out of the way and you can see it. So the motor comes through here, hooks to the pulley to the belt that is, that is bolted to the print head to move your print head back and forth. While I have this uncapped, These are our three caps or our ink pads for our print heads. I know they're really dirty. If you use a printer, they're gonna get dirty. But these move up and down. But they don't move up and down, but there's a spring behind them, as you can see. And that pops up and creates a rubber seal right here around the bottom of your print head. And that, it does two things. It seals your print head you know, to um, keep your print head moist when you're not using it. And also seals your print head because underneath of this 
you can't see are hoses that are connected to it and it actually sucks on your print head so those are those strange noises that you hear when your printer starts so it's actually sucking on this print head uh, here's the hoses here so those hoses come up underneath your uh, uh, ink pads or your caps this is your capping station so those those hoses from the caps come and hook to this these are your negative pressure or your little micro motors that pull a vacuum and suck on the ink and then they waste the ink into some type of waste ink bottle so this would suck on your print heads before you print and waste a little bit of ink and put it in this baby bottle looking thing for you to throw away later okay this is your capping station so when your printer comes over here and locks it picks this up and that's what makes these seal up to the bottom of your print head this is your wiper and this one needs to be replaced badly wow i didn't realize that bad but anyways this is your wiper and your wiper doesn't actually touch anything it stands one millimeter away from your print head and all that it's here to do is when your print head moves over if it has a drop of ink on it it catches that drop of ink before it moves over. That's all it does. We're coming down to your interface panel. So we got left, right, you know, left, right. We can move the bed up and down here, up and down. We move the bed in and out, and we can also lock the print head. All right, that brings us to the UV lights. So this one, I have this one unhooked because I'm no longer using my varnish on this machine. It doesn't work for our purposes. Uh, this is your UV light. These are the UV light water cooling hoses. So these actually come up and plug into, uh, come up and go to the motherboard and plug. These come up, these UV lights, the wire comes up, hooks to the motherboard, and it actually hooks up right here on this part of your motherboard to, uh, tell the lights when to turn on and off. Your water line, all the stuff comes up through the chain to the motherboard. The water line comes up, the water line comes up, goes over here. And it hooks to this box here, which holds a little bit of water. You're gonna have some type of a cooler. This is a little bit of a cheaper machine, so it doesn't have that great big cooler. This is a great beginner machine, by the way and then it hooks to these two fans which have it hooks to the water pumps through these two fans which have a radiator in it to cool the water and this is a water reservoir and pumps the water around and that's how your lamps stay cool this is your uv lamp controller it is what provides the um, power to your uv lamps and that's how it gets the signal from the motherboard this on this one is a 24 volt power supply so this supplies 24 volts to everywhere it needs 24 volts and while I'm over here of course we've got an emergency switch turn it off it shuts the machine off in case of an emergency this one has a dial on the front that controls the power or the intensity of the UV light right here some of this type of machines have different type of lights up here I can show you that on my other machine Of course, we've got power, power switch. Under here is our Z axis motor. Okay, under here we have a sensor. So we have this sensor on the front right here and the same sensor on the back that tells the motor when it's all the way forward and all the way back. Your belt, your Y motor, which is back here moving your belt in and out that is bolted to the table then moves it in and out here i apparently have i apparently have this door on this one doesn't get access very much in here is a 48 volt power supply and the z motor that lifts up and down there's also a sensor here which uh senses when the head is all the way home and sets your homing position. Okay, so I'm going to show you on my two head machine, which is actually very, very, very similar. It's basically the exact same machine, but there's a couple different elements that are different. Obviously, they're different. 
So my, I unhooked the white print head on this one just because we don't always use white and I tend to do it on this. These are air cold, air cold LED lights. It's of the water cooled so there's no water pumps or anything. And the intensity on this is over there, the same dial. Some of these have an intensity switch here that you could turn to make these stronger or not as strong. One print head, different lineup, does the same thing. The other big thing is we're flat cables. So this is a different board. So your print head board come up through flat cables. I don't know why that's all over there. And your motherboard. Essentially working the same way, just a little different layout. All right, thanks for taking a look at uh, the parts and kind of what they do and how they fix up for the printers. I'm glad to share. I hope it helps you out to figure out maybe troubleshoot your part. Uh, I have a link in the description below to a website that provides all of these parts for sale in the United States and Canada. Uh, if you want, you can take a look at that or you can take a look at our website, footstepsinthepast.com. I'll put a link to that in the description as well to show you the awesome things that we actually produce with these. Okay, I'm Jay. This is my to-do list. Thanks for stopping.